Hey, what's up, little Tim? We live. What's up, baby? We are live, and I don't see it saying we're live, but we're live, and I know we. Huh? I see it. I see it being live on top. We good. You see it? Yeah. My time yeah. cut short. How you doing? I'm good, honey. How you doing, honey? I'm good. How was your day? I see you out there wrangling the usual yeah. junkies and shit. Yeah, junkie just tried to sell me a fucking cu a cushion for a couch. That's all. A cushion? Just a cushion. <laughs> he said, give him three days. He had other two cushions. <laughs> when he broke in the house, he could only grab one and ran out. Because so, somebody was home. <laughs> yeah, somebody was home. He said, he said the nigga was still asleep. He got he got the cushion from under his feet while he was asleep. <laughs> so he said he can mess around and get the other cushions like tomorrow when the guy said the guy going to sleep upstairs in the bed and get the other cushions and take the couch. Yeah, he get the couch. By Thursday, I should have the whole couch. That is hilarious. Good morning, Monroe. Welcome to the party. Good morning. What's up, Monroe? Good morning, Terrence. What up, Terrence? What up, though? I ain't seen him, Terrence in a minute. Where you at, Terrence? Terrence been working. Terrence doing his thing, man. I just did a show with Terrence, man. We did a show at a golf course. It was off the hook. It was? Yeah, the only black thing. We was the only black there, boy. Uh, nigga, it was the only thing black. Oh, only thing blacker than us was one of the was a. Uh, what was it, nigga? We was it. We was white as shit. But nothing blacker than you niggas. But nothing blacker than us, nigga. Oh wow, that's it. Was good though. Okay. Are we working? Good. I'm glad. Happy. Happy working. So, what's going on with you today? Nothing at all. You know me. I'm just out here with these. I'm trying to find me some some shit. I need to buy some shit. What you mean? Yeah. Cheap shit. I'm not trying to go for a uh, junk. Yeah, to buy some shit. Welcome from. back, boo boo. What's up, Delano? How you doing, man? I hope you're feeling better. Big Hoove, welcome to the party. What's up, Big Hoove? It's too early for this shit, and Timmy out there trying to buy shit. What kind What's of? I buy shit. Huh? <laughs> nigga, I need some shoestrings. I'm buying nigga buy some shit. I need a, a junk. Huh? What? And nigga, let me tell you something. They be all you get shit cheap. Yesterday, nigga tried to sell me a fucking wool hat and glove set. <laughs> right here, right here. Yeah. A wool hat. It's too oh, bright. It's like did a, a hat and a glove set yesterday. What? Yeah. They be all off season. You know junkies don't have no temperature in their body. Perfect. Well, yes, they do. And no, it's they don't. Shit. Hot, it could be a blizzard. It's always hot. No, nigga. Last <laughs> yesterday was to uh, three junkies with ski coats on. The junkies don't have no goddamn what's name. They have no thermostat in their body. <laughs> uh. Wait, okay, oh, Terry. Really? You say you in a stage play, The Hero's Tale. What kind yeah, of... Man. Huh? I'm, I'm in a look, stage play, too. Look, I got to get a wax. I had a wax appointment, but somebody yeah. broke it in my wax lady's car. Yeah. You don't yeah, you do. I'm Come in, bitch, come on. Timmy Hall and Miss Billy Goat. <laughs> Looking like a Billy Goat. You should, just, <laughs> you should dye your chin hair the same color as your fucking hair. <laughs> walk out with red chin hair. <laughs> stage. <laughs> hey, Terrence, I'm gonna I'm gonna stage play too. It's called Never Would Have Made It with Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> you better have some gratitude, little nigga. <laughs> Ew, okay, June 29th, I wanted five. All right, in the 30. Where, where's it gonna be at? Okay. It's gonna be at Tell him, y'all. That's the Duke. That's Terrence, the Duke of Comedy. Support him in the stage play The Heroes Tale. That's right. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Who you play? You play Gay Soldier? He's not the hero. You play Gay Soldier. <laughs> I'm home. <laughs> Hello. Salute what? me, bitches. Salute me. I'm Terrence. The Heroes Tale. Listen, y'all. I'm supposed to do this now that we got our super producer back. Right. Be responsible. So, Timmy and I were supposed to come in and say, it's too early for this, shit. as you already know. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the party. As always, this is the time when me and little Timmy come together and chat about anything, everything, and absolutely Sleepy nothing. The most what? Unprepared, prepared show on the internet. Good morning, Tim. <laughs> yep. So what's going on in the news, girl? Like and share the feed. Tell a friend. We here. We almost got here at 1010 today, but we had a little difficulty because little Timmy was blurred and I wanted to see his pretty face. No, that wasn't that. Nicky was shaving. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't these whiskers. 
Uh, yeah, I, I, I go live. She's shaving her neck. I'm like, give me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing. Now, I'm I, we we don't have the video for this, so I'm not going to talk about it right now. Um, the Terminator. Somebody drop kick Arnold Schwarzenegger. I, I don't. Saw it. You saw it? Yeah, I saw the video. Oh. M G. They drop kick the shit out of that. He's like, ow. <laughs> he got kicked. Three hours later, he goes about, ow. Somebody, I need a computer. Somebody, um, apparently, he was at a school. It looked like, and <laughs> seventy-one year old. Did you know the Terminator was seventy-one? Yeah, seventy-one. Hey, oh. Former governor of California got drop kicked by what looked like a kid. Dude ran up behind him and like literally ascended to the back of his head and hit that bama and, and Schwarzenegger went down. Hold that dot. Hold that ow. Hold <laughs> that ow. You know how slow he is. He got kicked in the head. Three hours later, he's like, ow, my head. He's a so it's not funny. It's funny, not funny. But Arnold Schwarzenegger's head went bloop. Did you see <laughs> the worst motherfucking toupee on the planet? I know. Oh, honey, you would think this motherfucker would be able to get a better toupee. Because right. somebody calls, could call Maria. I know she don't care no more, but call yeah, Maria. She don't care no more. Clown drop kicked them. And um, he was a South African? Yeah. Are you kidding? Yeah, he's South African. The, yep, sure was. Yep. So he drop kicked him and was yelling, I need a Lamborghini. <laughs> That's how you get one. Oh you my God. Listen, when I tell you that was the funniest shit I had seen in a yeah. very long time. I mean, I, I didn't I did not want to laugh, but I, I laughed my ass off. I guess I laughed my ass off. Like 43 times, I swear. That's the magic number. That shit was hilarious. I put it in slow motion. All you say is, oh shit. <laughs> I'll, oh. Be well, I'll be back. That nigga like I'll be No. <laughs> no, he was saying I'll be back, but he was saying, ow, my back. <laughs> <laughs> ow, my back. Yeah, why you why, how you kick a 71-year-old man though? Listen, the nigga real muscular though. You seen him? He still yeah, know. He got them old and shit. Arnold Schwarzenegger is muscular as fuck. But that toupee got even more muscles than he. Oh did. no, that yeah, that toupee got on steroids. <laughs> like <laughs> on steroids. How many toupee muscles he got? He got a ton of toupee muscles. It's yeah, he let me tell you. But Y'all should know today is Talk Back Tuesday. If y'all drop us some comments and or topics, we will select one of your topics and bring you in the feed. So uh, I will send you a link. You click on the link and just come on into the conversation for like a minute and chat with me and Timmy. Yeah, so be out there that got some shit that we want to talk about, we will select that topic and bring you into the feed. So beyond that, though, okay. Let me tell you. Good morning, Jamon. You're not late. You're What's right up, on the party, baby. So this is the story of the century. Oh, yeah. Money Mo House, okay? Apparently, this motherfucker who somehow got off my radar, Robert Frederick Smith, is a billionaire businessman, investor, philanthropist, worth $5 billion. How... How is it that these black people out here, there are black billionaires that we know nothing of? We only know a lot about Oprah, but this cat, who is a former chemical engineer investment banker, mm -hmm. is the founder and chairman and CEO of a private equity firm. Uh, it's called Vista Equity Partners. Go check him out, y'all. He, in 2018, was ranked uh, Forbes by Forbes magazine as the 163rd richest person in America. I don't know if that's even a fucking number. That's like being the 400th. That's like third place. A hundred. So that means it's 163 billion people. I mean, 164 two people richer mm -hmm. than him. Picture that. Yeah, yeah they are there. 
money out there. It don't make sense. All these poor motherfuckers running around. All you billionaires. Anyway, Robert is putting his money where his mouth is. Up until now, I hated all niggas named Robert. But now, <laughs> I'm back on Robert's again. Oh, yeah. Look, right. this man paid for 400 Morehouse graduates student loans. He wiped them out. He was the commencement speaker at the 2019 Morehouse uh, graduation commencement ceremony, and he dropped the bomb shiggity. We got people yeah. uh, right now, they uh, college degrees and shit, talking about they graduated from Morehouse. 400 people uh, now have a new. Yo, yo. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Mm -mm. I got some junk. you right near my fucking car. What? Yeah, anyway. He did what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they said they look <laughs> using my mirror while I'm in the car. Looking at me. She looking at me, look at her. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, but um hey, uh, hey, listen, that's more exciting. I know. I was I was just showing I was in our titties, but go ahead. Uh uh. Shut the hell up. She's looking at me. <laughs> UDC payments. It was a, he said, I'm sending him these UDC payments. I'll be ducking yeah. in You ain't gonna baby get that paid, Jamon. I'm sorry. I'm not. Mm -mm. Like, like I was I wish I wish somebody for real would kidnap that bitch Sally May. Cause she got everybody scared, don't she? That bitch, you talking about a gangster? You know what a gangster is? A gangster named Sally May. Sally May is a true what? gangster. Her, no, they gave her a name that's so nice and happy and friendly. Sally May. I'm mad at a Sally May. You think yeah. Sally May's like a cocaine dealer? Sally May, Sally May sounds just like she sell cocaine and she a kingpin. That's a queenpin. Oh, Sally May. Oh. <laughs> Look at who, who you just, just watched. <laughs> that shit is so funny. I wish we could show it, but we don't, yeah. we don't have it queued up. But that shit was the funniest thing. I'm still smitten by uh, Robert Frederick. Yeah. I, you know, I, I think somebody should call him and give him my people number. A beeper number. First of all, that's how old you are. What the fuck you still doing a beeper? You right. You need what? If you still got a beeper, bitch, you need more. You need more than Robert Frederick, bitch. You need to upgrade your life or something. I don't even know how you got. A, if you still got a beeper, how you got a house, bitch? You need to cut that. Come on, beeper. You got a beeper. house because I keep my beeper. You know what? That's why the fuck I realized I ain't making it yet. Cause you still trying to get me booked off a of fucking beeper. When that's they the say you gonna hit me now, what? Damn, I ain't got no. That's why I ain't got no good shows yet. If y'all see to me, y'all ain't do no good shows. That's because you got beat Nikki. Uh, <laughs> I'm telling nigga to beat me. What the fuck you talking about? Look, yeah. let me. Tell you, I got a beeper. I got a cell phone. I even got that one. Remember when they first changed from beepers to text things? I got one of them motherfuckers. I got an old house fucking cell phone. I got it all, nigga. Yeah. I'm not using no calls. I'm on it for your career. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, why I'm sitting, that's why I'm sitting the hot ass call with the most unprepared, prepared show I've ever done. Thank watching, you. Watching junkie titties. Yeah, watching junkie mirror. titties. She all in front of my mirror trying to fix her hair. I'm just sitting like that. Yeah. <laughs> Spots all over her titties. Them needle marks, motherfucker. I know. Go I ahead. Know. She had Them no drugs. Yeah, Kool-Aid coming out of him. Yep. God. You need Sally May. That's what he yeah. needs. He needs Sally May. You got to have Sally May. Sally May is the true gangster. Your ass want to go to school? You got to call that bitch first. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> Sally May tell you straight up, ain't nobody going to school without me. What? Uh, shit, what I didn't go to college without old Sally May. That's right. That's how your life is, son. Yeah. Well, who said I beat the other day? Tyler Perry hit me up for a short comment. I couldn't. I read. couldn't read. <laughs> Whatever. <who? laughs> you came up short. <laughs> uh, hey, I can't believe. Hey, who? What time you get out of dialysis, you old bitch? <laughs> <laughs> you are such a health hater. <laughs> you see that your wife with Davida? Davida dialysis, nigga. <laughs> Can gay married men still wear white beaters? Okay, first of all, the wear. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. I can't believe you're in a play, nigga. How you reading the line spelling wear W A R E? Old student loan from UDC in 1993, nigga. Exactly. That now, now we know why you. We know who didn't graduate. You. 
just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> Not a personal boo. It ain't personal. I'm just saying. Big Hoop, the show is tomorrow. Every What's Wednesday, y'all tune in to 420 Friendly Radio. That is the most fun radio show. I will ever. tell you, that show is off the hook. Longest running internet radio show in, in history. They've been going strong. Already at nine. They are hilarious. They are. And it's fun. They're so nice to the kids. Yeah. I can't wait to go back. Hint, yeah. hint. I'll probably never get invited back. I cracked on everybody. Well, that's what you do, little Timmy. Well, it ain't my fault. Well, the, first of all, upgrade your DJ. Let's do that first. Your DJ ain't shit. DJ, DJ ain't little DJ. shirt. No, DJ little shirt is DJ shit. He ain't do nothing the whole time. DJ lazy fuck. That was y'all cook all. Yeah. I ain't never seen. I ain't never seen DJ sit on. This nigga sitting on crates. I ain't never seen DJ sit on crates. Listen, I just want somebody to find Mr. Frederick, Robert Frederick, and um, tell him I'm here. Here he, there he is. Did he go, let me ask you did, did he go to Morehouse? No, he did not go to Morehouse, as a matter okay. of fact. And he did that for the Morehouse students. And he actually said he encouraged um, other people to step up to the plate. <laughs> step up to the plate. You're welcome, Big Who. And meet him at philanthropy. Okay. Yeah. Basically, Robert said, I did what I'm supposed to do. Now it's your turn, bitches. Right. All right. But I mean, you know what's good about that? When you go to college, they got no debt. So they can start fresh. You know, that's the biggest worry people got is the, the debts from college. You know what I mean? You got to pay that stuff back. Yeah, man. Yeah. Some people had, there was, there was, they said, one of the graduates had over almost $90,000 in debt. The the uh, the person who graduated at the top of the class, the valedictorian or whatever you call them in college, because I didn't get a degree. Um, I you went. Call it, you call it the crown victorian. I think that the crown victorian of the class, he, yeah, that's, no, that's like a car and a, and a degree. It's a crown victorian. <laughs> Listen, the valedictorian of the class actually still had ten thousand dollars. Okay, this is the person with the the at the at the top of the top. Okay, whoever it was, whatever the fuck you call him, he still had ten thousand dollars that he owed in student loans. Now he should have been free. Yeah. Okay. He should have been free and clear. This motherfucker went in, did everything he was supposed to do, and still. Had to get loans to take care of his college education. And this actually touches on one of the things that we talked about a few weeks ago, right? Mm -hmm. Remember we talked about um, the people, uh, Felicity Huffman and all of that, right. that whole pen and line for the college education thing? Man, I'm telling you, that college college education in America is really some shit. And then you, be get, free. you get out with all that debt. And still can't do shit. Right. It's like you you doomed before you even got a fucking chance if you're not rich in this country. The thing is, most of the times you come out with a degree and never work a job with, from a degree, with the degree you got. You, I mean, you never you never use your degree. I'm telling you. Uh, Jamal said Oprah be dropping $100 here and there, a book and some recipes. No, she don't. Well, you know, he, he got... He got a point. She could she could have put a school here, but she decided to put an app. I got an issue with that. Oprah, Oprah does a lot. Oprah does a lot. Don't be hating on yeah. Oprah. Fuck all y'all. Okay. I'm not, saying, I'm not hating on Oprah, but Oprah could have done something here. She did it. Hey, I love all things Oprah. No, I know, I know, but she could have dropped a school here. I know, I know she did in Africa. She could have put a school here. She could have put a school right here. Oprah sent about that many more house men to college, yeah. if not more, over the 25 years of her show. At yeah. the end, so clearly you guess got guess what? Guess what? This guy did that. This guy yeah. paid two hundred kids off in one time. I'm sorry, what? Boy, he paid all these kids off at one time. So at over twenty five years, she's been all those kids in college. But, but she, this guy paid all that debt. She could do the same damn yeah. thing. One school off. She educated uh, more than that. She educated yeah. so many. Uh, but more she still could have put a school here. LeBron James put a school. He got a school. School. He wish she wanted to put a school. But the thing yeah. is. Where she did put a school is one of the most underserved and uh, underprivileged uh, civilizations in, in, in one of the most underserved right, okay. 
humanities in civilization. The Africans get nothing, nothing, hardly anything. We don't get, they, not, I'm saying we, you know, I'm African American. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> we don't get acknowledged for anything. You can't even be a black American and get justice in the criminal justice system. So, she is creating opportunities where opportunities need to be created pursuant to her. But can I ask you a question? I ain't got no problem with Africans, but why some of them think they better than us? Well, some That's of them the are. That's the issue I have. Because huh? you, you can't even be better than us. You don't even wear deodorant. Yo, hello, how you going to fuck around and tell me, I'm better than you, but your arms stink, nigga. <laughs> you, you, how you better than me and your underarms stink? Ah! Uh. Good morning, Bree. Timmy oh, is told me. this right now. Uh, <laughs> you got here just in time, girl, to save us from that old no, race. I'm not saying I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying all Africans. I, I got some oh, African friends, but there's a lot of Africans. No, uh, Africans don't wear deodorant. I ain't about, look, I'm more concerned about why a lot of Africans don't acknowledge like American black. A lot of them think they're better than us. A lot of them do. That's that's a true statement. Well, I, I've said it for myself. It's, 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 I think it goes back to um, a time when we were taught to devalue people who look like us. So what I think do, what is, is this. Do me, I'm, I'm just like you, but first of all, let me don't get mad at me because you got to wear sandals all year round. I didn't do that. That's but not a bad thing, though. But, let me, they, they, but they look it up, they act like we do. They act like teeth. Africans uh, have really good teeth. Right, but they act like they. With some of them, a lot of times they act like they. We, we're beneath them. I've seen it several times, and I've been talking. They're not the only ones. Huh? They're not the only ones, but that's not. Hey. The thing is, Africans believe that they are the superior race, and in many cases, that's they are. That's not a problem. The problem is, uh, American Black Americans don't understand their value and their worth. And we do shit like what you just described, the lady uh, junkie. We shoot dope and, and poke holes in our titties and shit and then stand next to police cars and do our makeup. I mean, that's not the point. The point that I'm making is yes. Africans have a superiority, uh, not complex, but um, air about them because they realize that they are royalty. They come from royalty. And we are actually the first civilization, Blacks. That's fine, but guess American, what? American blacks have been devalued by so many cultures, not just Africans, but so many cultures stemming from the European, you know, slave trade and all that bullshit that, that created this whole inferiority thing that we have. We live as an inferior society, even though we are the first man. We live in a way that right. we're would have people devalue us because we devalue ourselves first. It's not just Africans. I think that we are easily uh, um, we we we're quick to jump up and judge people who look like us, but we won't have the same conversation with whites, Europeans, or Americans. You know, people that's, of that's us. some that's some people. I judge everybody by individual. Okay, I don't, care. I, don't so, care who I, don't, you are. I don't feel like that. And 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 to get back to the Africans don't wear deodorant thing. I was once told by an African that uh, the mosquitoes in in Africa carry malaria, which is mm -hmm. a disease that will kill you. Uh -huh. And sweet shit attracts mosquitoes. So that's the reason they don't wear a lot of perfumes and mm -hmm. shit like deodorant. When you come over here, you think a malaria mosquito will follow your ass? No, it's just by then. It's, so, it's so by the time you come over here tomorrow, don't wear it. I think the malaria mosquito done followed me. Don't wear nothing sweet. Nothing. Up, huh? <laughs> Africans have been degraded. Stephanie said Africans have been degraded also. You're they right. They have been. They have been. But I don't have a problem with African being degraded. We've been degraded. My issue is when you when I talk to an African person that somebody that I know and they tell me all the time, oh yeah, we kings or whatever. Yeah, you are, but guess what? You over here now, you're equal. So the same treatment that we get, I get, you're gonna get it as well. So you you can try that 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 I'm a I'm a king here, me roll if you want to. Yo, yo, sit your ass down. You wear mountain lion. Rah, rah, rah. Sit your ass down. You with your, funk, with your yeah. funky ass underarms. <laughs> smell, like, smell like creek water. Smell like creek water and aardvark pussy. Nasty asses. I can't stand you, Timmy. You are dumb. You are just dumb, okay? 
dumbass. Listen, so uh, do we have any topics before we run out of time? I only yeah. go to the store, uh, Terrence, say, what the fuck you say if the Pope fall, will he cuss? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Funny. Yeah, let's send Terrence the link so he can... Um, yeah. So he can brag. He can brag about that. He can brag about his fucking play that he only got one scene in. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's brag about this one scene play, nigga. If the foe fall, will he cut? Let's send. Yeah, he will. Foe fall because we gotta see if he's still with us. But listen, I I, I think we could continue this African debate because I love Africans. No, I'm not saying I don't love Africans. I, mean, I, got, I got a lot of African friends. One African. Huh? And Africans are, uh, you know, they just African. <laughs> they just Africans. <laughs> I don't get ready to take them over. They be cooking some crazy shit. My next door neighbor African, believe it or not. Say, real, your next door neighbor is African? Yeah, yeah. That was there, like there, one time. I'll try to get a there, up there. to the party. You got it backwards, dumbass. <laughs> see, see, I'm that's African. The huh? It's because I'm African. <laughs> what? Hey. What? What you say? I'm showing everybody your weight. My weight. Two oh two. Put that shit down. <laughs> I wish it was two oh two. I'm working to get to 202. I'm at 230 right now. Oh, you're 230? Yeah, I'm going to call you at, at uh, 2 o'clock. Where's you, Terrence? You said, Who look. the hell is here? Terrence is gone. He must be gone. 230? You're saying you that's the same time my son got out of school. You ain't nothing but a school bell. What about the lady that lost her job for giving the student lunch? I saw for that. Who I saw that? that. I saw that. Mm -hmm. Terrence, where you at? Are you coming in? He said, send the link. Send it again. Go to your Facebook Messenger. That's where it's coming. Yeah, I saw that. I didn't see that. What was that? Yeah, she. I forgot what it was. She was simply giving free lunch because kids were underprivileged and you know didn't have the money, so she she lost her job for giving them lunches for free. What? Damn, Damn. you know how they go. I, you know how to go. It's time. Bring your ass now. My, okay. my, my cousin five for doing the same thing for me at Best Buy. You're not here because I don't see you, sir. You're Where you huh? My cousin did the same, lost the job for giving me free shit at Best Buy. It's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, gave, he gave away one TV and all hell break loose. <laughs> Terrence, you're not here. Come on now. He said he's here, but he's not. I'm waiting, boy. Yeah, he was the name. He's studying his line. <laughs> ah, okay. We're trying to get Terrence Hawkins in the feed to talk about this. So, who was the lady who lost her job for giving a student lunch for free? Anybody else? Okay, well, you know, well, you know, it's a big thing now with lunch shaming with um with kids that owe money for lunch. Yeah. Um, they started giving them like bullshit ass food because they because their parents owe money. So the thing is, if everybody know your ass get a peanut butter jelly sandwich, they know your mama ain't pay. What? That's Did what you think they're doing. Yeah. Huh? I'm trying to find Terrence. I don't see him. Uh huh. Yeah, but Terrence, do you have the link, honey? It's a new thing. You hear about the Nikki, the lunch shame and shit? Yeah, I heard about it, but not lately. I, I heard about that some time ago. Lately, I haven't heard anything about it. So I think people don't understand where free lunch comes from. You know, we um, we actually got free lunch as a direct result of the Black Panther movement. Right, exactly. You know, uh, anyway, let's talk about the next thing. We ain't got that much time. Terrence, we wanted to bring you in, but it didn't work out. Perhaps another time. Uh, the last last topic that we wanted to talk about was rapper Foxy Brown. So Foxy Brown, uh, Foxy Brown got booed. Let me let me uh, let y'all hear the, the video. 
Okay, Terrence, you can come on Friday. We just got word from the producer. We don't have in time. New York City this weekend, mm -hmm. and Chauncey Brown was a special guest. And I guess she couldn't hear the track playing, and here's how it sounded. Mm. Yeah, things didn't go so well. They said uh, the DJ then jumped in and decided to play a little Kim song as the crowd went crazy. I don't like that. I'll tell you why, because if something is truly wrong with Foxy's hearing, which they have been saying for years, why they don't get the sister hearing aid? Like, stop dragging Foxy. I think they tried. Finish. I think they definitely tried. But yeah. what they should have did, they should have played the music with her rapping on it and her rap over it. Has she ever acknowledged that she can't hear? Yeah. She has? Yes, yeah, she said it. Oh, okay. All right, so here's what Candy Burris had to say about the whole situation. They even said uh, Jay Z allegedly paid for surgery to try to help her get her hearing back. Yeah. I don't say. I just think they should stop bringing Foxy on stage if they know that she's in that condition. You know what I mean? Like, don't do that to her. Yeah. Well, maybe she wanted to get on stage. Maybe she said she's okay, and maybe I something mean, happened with the audio. And everything. Yeah, she's been doing so, shows. Mm. You know, if that's what she wants to try to do. Let her lip sync then. That's what I said. <laughs> yeah. But they got to figure out some type of resolution. Damn. All right, now let's talk about. Damn. Hey, you know what? But you know what? I heard somebody was saying that, uh, another lady said she was slurring her voice. Another lady was saying the other day that Foxy Brown was on drugs really bad. What? Yeah, they said she on drugs real bad. Huh? At night. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant. She's on drugs. She's really heavy on drugs, and she missing a lot of teeth in her mouth now. Yeah, I heard it yesterday. She's on drugs really bad. Yeah. So she's on drugs and she's deaf? Yeah. So I wonder, did she go deaf as a result of the music over the years? No, nah, this was a long time ago. This is this issue with uh, Foxy Brown Heron been going on for years. Wow. It just got, it got progressively worse. But as far as her, they said she's on drugs really bad. And the guy, lady said she wear a mask on her face because she missing teeth in her mouth. You know, you know, on drugs, a lot of people lose their teeth. You know what I mean? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. yeah, so I, I pray for her. Yeah, that's sad. That's sad. But, you know, um, I don't understand why would, she, why would she put herself in that situation. Maybe she needed the money. Who knows? I Any still would never call my, call my vagina some ill nana. Why does she look sick? Who want a sick vagina? Ugh, yeah. yeah. She smell like you got that ill nana. You need to walk. What would you call your... Huh? Huh? Well, hey, he, you know, I call my shit. I call my penis. I call my penis. Lucky is still you. Lucky is alive. That's what I call, I call it lucky. <laughs> lucky for me. Lucky for you. It's called lucky. Lucky for your ass. Lucky, lucky. For alive after you lay that motherfucking sorry ass penis on somebody. They go. They gonna shoot you. If anything. Nope. Good morning. Like, Can you later? Welcome to the party. Unfortunately, the party has ended. We have yeah. come to a point in this broadcast that neither Timmy nor I nor any of you want to ever see the end. <laughs> you know, yeah. you got to get out of here. What is Jamon talking about? <laughs> Read that shit. That's hilarious. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers are going to hell. He said, You're being bad if she lip sync is going to look like a kung fu movie. He really do. That's hilarious. DC comedy is something else. Y'all, as all. Y'all go. Y'all go. Y'all me and Timmy, we love this shit. We come in here each and every morning, and I swear to God, one of these mornings, we're going to push start at 10, 10 a.m. But just for today, <laughs> we started when we started, and we came in here, and we talked about a little bit of anything and everything, but mostly we ain't talking about shit. No shit. We the most unprepared, prepared show on the internet. You are, we, we prepared, kill us. So if we ever come prepared, y'all stop watching. Stop it, watching. Have to be prepared. Kill yourself. <laughs> if y'all ever, if y'all ever think that, if y'all ever see me on, on the big screen or something or something like that, you got nothing to do with it. Nikki had shit to do with it. <laughs> it was all me.
got a fucking beeper. You can't. She still got a beeper. Fuck you trying to get my career started with a beeper. Anybody ready to manage me with a cell phone? If anybody with a cell phone can manage me, my four four three six seven. This nigga funny as fuck. But yep. He ain't that funny this morning. I'm just saying. Whatever, nigga. Whatever I'm goggles. Right. I love you. I see you tomorrow. You know why? Because it's too early too for, early this. for this shit. I ain't got nothing for you. Holla! Right,